Tween Seen Online, Button Snowman Decorations. Hi tweens, this month we're going to be making a button snowman decoration, like the one here. In your kit, you will find a pipe cleaner, a selection of buttons, You'll have white for the snowman, black for his hat, and blue or red for a scarf. To assemble your snowman, you're going to start by deciding what order you want your buttons to go in. I usually pick four or five of the largest to, to be as my base and stack them like so. You'll want to stack them um, to see how they look before you thread them. Then I'll put my scarf, which was here is blue. Then I'll start with the next largest and work my way down in size for the head. And finally, for the hat, again, I'm going to work with, they may not want to stack very well. I'll start with the largest and work my way up to the smallest for my top hat. like that. Now, and this one, and in this case, it didn't want to stay. The buttons don't like to stack that high, <laughs> but that's okay. As long as you remember what order that you're going to thread them in, it'll be fine. So we're going to start with the hat and then work our way down to the head, the scarf, and then the body. So you're going to fold your pipe cleaner in half and you're going to make sure you want to leave about a half inch to an inch at the top for your um, hanging part. And you're going to start with the smallest parts of the hat and thread them through two of the holes. Some buttons you'll get will have two holes, some will have four. It just depends on the button style. Now be careful as you work, the chenille stems will get pointy at the bottom with the metal. And so remember to leave about a half inch of room at the top to hang. And then thread your buttons in order that you had predetermined. Your small buttons are going to be your trickier ones to thread, but they will go through because the metal's really not that wide. It's just the fluffy chenille part that makes it a little tough sometimes. So my first three buttons, uh, black buttons, are all the same size for the part of my stovepipe hat. This one doesn't want to go through. Um, it'll get there eventually. There we go. Like that. Then moving down to the bigger ones. Be a little tricky sometimes, but it'll go through. There you go. One more black button. You want to try and not have your stem get twisted there because it'll leave a gap. There we go. All right, next we're starting on the head with the small white buttons. Continuing on. Sometimes it's hard to find the hole, but <laughs> you should be able to get it go. Now 
As I said, it definitely gets easier the further you get along and the larger the button size. And be careful at this point, the um, pipe cleaner stems may get a little pokey at the end as the metal gets exposed from continual pressure going through the buttons. All right. The last one of the top part of the snowman. Now my blue scarf. As I said before, your scarf may be red. There we go. And now the rest of the body. Two more. All right, last one. This is my biggest button because it serves as my base. All right, now to finish it up, you're going to twist the bottom a little bit, the chenille stems, the pipe cleaner stems. Just give them a little twist to keep those buttons on. All right. Now, to finalize our snowman, you don't want to leave these stems hanging there. So you're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to trim the bottom. Once you're happy with it, how it looks. There you go. You can flatten that out. If you'd like, you can use a marker to draw a face on your snow person, or you can leave him abstract and blank. It's up to you. Now you can hang your snow person from your window, or you can hang him from a backpack, however you'd like to decorate him. Bye, tweens. Thanks for watching.